Good morning everyone. I'm going to do another tumbler today and I wanted to try and do um, a marble tumbler. So I've spray painted my cup black. I've mixed up some epoxy to which I've added, um, it's really hard to read. This is a colour shift mica and it's called Wake Me Up and it's, a, it's from um, Woods Goodies and Micas and it shifts from blue green to blue to violet to red. Now a lot of these powders are white when you get them and they work, unless otherwise stated, they work best on a black cup. So when you get them, um, this one in particular, it ha I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't, but anyway, um, there's a shimmer to it. But what I do to make it easier to see what colors they are, is I have a piece of black cardboard that I tend to put you know just a little scrape of the color on there to get a sense of what it's going to look like and that's just a few of the different ones that I was playing with before I started this project it helps you just to get an idea of you know what what effect you're going to get on your cup now it doesn't look like much on here but trust me when you look at it in natural light and not on the camera you can definitely see the color shift in it so I've added some to this epoxy and that's going to form my first layer on this cup the other things I'm using I'm again sticking with my um, um, glitters from sparkles by Carby designs and I'm using crow's wings and that's got a shift to it as well so I've put some of that, you can see the sparkle in that. So that's kind of a purpley greeny shift. Um, I'm also using Great Barrier Reef. That's a chunky, blue chunky. I'm using Winjana, which is a gorgeous blue. And it's actually um, just a regular glitter. It's not a chunky. So I'll put that into my container here and I'm using this one, it's called Stonefish and it's actually a purple um, medium glitter. So I'm going to um, use all of these on this cup and hopefully it will actually turn out the way that I'm picturing it in my mind but as we all know when we make cups it doesn't always work out that way but you know all we can do is try and I'm really sorry but I'm not using my quietest tumbler because all my other ones are busy so this is kind of my spare one and um, it's a little bit on the noisy side so so I'll bear with me so um, I'll start this and then we'll see where we end up that level out for a minute um, and I might use the rest of this actually in a mold so that I don't waste it okay that looks pretty good so I might start um, 
I'll move this because it's sticky. And I might start layering on the colour now. So what I'm going to do is, um, for me it's important that the cup spins from left to right because I'm going to put them on in that sort of that direction. Depends on, you know, sort of what, what's, you know, what, whether you're left or right handed, but, um, you know, as to your preference. So I'm just going to start putting that on there and we'll see how it sort of, how it pans out. And I'm just putting it on bit by bit. There's no, there's no rush to doing this. I'm going to come in with some blue now. This is Winjana and it's actually a holographic, so it's quite pretty. Now on this side I wanted to actually put the chunky, the chunky blue. So when it comes back around. I'll put the chunky blue in there and it doesn't matter if it goes into the other colours and now I'm going to use crow's wings probably on this side And I'll just continue to alternate these around the cup as I sort of go. layering it on until you're happy with how it's you know how covered it is it's just like putting on normal glitter you can see how shiny it is so that means it actually needs a little bit more added to it I'm just gonna kind of throw some at the bottom here I'm not overly worried about that one but I'll just chuck it on the bottom. Okay. I'll go back round and do these ones again. Because you do want a good, you know, like you do want it, you don't want it to be still wet. You want it to actually um, cover the, the mug and not leave wet spots. And then, um, let me go with the chunky, oh, it's over here. into these spots here. Okay, 
I'm going to add some more of the blue because it's still looking a little bit wet. So that's going to spin now, probably till this afternoon. I'm not sure what time it is, um, but it shouldn't take long to sort of dry, and then we'll come back with the next, the next part of this process. Okay, so that's been spinning for a few hours, and it's quite dry. So um, I've brushed off the excess, just using. Um, my brush wherever it happens to be hiding and um, what I'm going to do now is just put another layer of epoxy over the top of that and let that spin again until it dries and then we'll start with the marbling so I'll put that on there now actually going to be a really nice cup. The colours are going to be stunning under that. These glitters just never disappoint of the ones that I've used so far. Yeah. Okay. So that's on there now. So I'll let it um, spin. And it's not a very thick coat, so it shouldn't take that long to dry. If I get a chance, um, I will definitely do the next process this afternoon. So it's currently 2.13. Um, and we'll see what it looks like when it's set. Be back soon. Hey all, back again. Um, it's now been spinning for, well, since yesterday. Um, all I've done so far is put another layer of epoxy over the top and a very thin layer because I don't want the marble to start flowing too quick. So it's got a really thin layer of epoxy over it at the moment. And I've mixed up my marble colours. So I'm using the opaque white from Illumilite, uh, the black. I'm also using this pigment from Sparkles by Carby Designs and it's called Sydney Harbour Bridge and it's a beautiful silver colour actually. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm using some Winjana glitter from Sparkles by Carby Designs and also the Stonefish. Um, glitter from Sparkles by Carby Designs. I had a little bit of um, clear left over so I actually mixed in some more of this um, Wake Me Up pigment that colour shifts. I don't know if I'll use it yet but I wanted it mixed up just in case. So um, this is my second attempt at doing the marble on this. The first time I did it I used too much black and and to, to my way of thinking there was too much black on it and it took away too much from the background so I wiped it all off because it was still wet cleaned the cup thoroughly and here we go again so um, all I'm literally going to do is drip very thin streams of color on there and kind of let it do its thing as much as possible I may hit it with the heat gun every now and then but generally I'll just you know sort of let it do what it wants so I will um, put some music on and um, be back shortly
that's how I'm going to leave it. Um, last time I did it, it was there was just too much black on it, and you could only see like really tiny bits of the windjana poking out here and there. And um, whilst it looked okay, it wasn't the picture that I had in my head. So wiped it all off, cleaned it with some alcohol. Um, and started again. So all I had to do was put another coat of epoxy over the top, really thin coat as I said, and then come at it with the colours. So I guess the thing to remember about marbles is less is sometimes more. Um, really happy with how this looks now because it's got all those beautiful, beautiful colours coming through from the background. And, and because I did use some of um, this, you can actually see patches of it in the black. It shifts to purple, to green, you know, it just, just does that whole shift and it's really quite pretty. Um, I'll post the finished tumbler up um, on Facebook and my Instagram, um, probably on the end of the video as well, as much as it'll be finished um, like here. It won't have a decal on it because this is just a one that I did for fun it wasn't actually an order so really had fun with this one if you enjoyed the video um, please give it a thumbs up and happy for you to subscribe and share um, any questions as always please just ask and I'll happily answer them thanks for watching